minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have engine ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying USS F-12 for the United States Space Force. Pitch over program, body range look good. NPU's gone to close loop. System response looks good. Now 20 seconds into flight. Atlas is now completing the pitch over maneuver. Body rates continue to look good. rd 180s throttle down slightly to partial thrust. Response looks good. Now 36 seconds into flight, Atlas V is now passing Mach 1. And at this point in the flight, Atlas V now weighs just one half of its liftoff weight. And see SRB chamber pressure is tailing off now. And we have SRB burnout. One minute, 45 seconds into flight. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. And we have jettison of all four solid rocket boosters. Vehicle has gone to closed loop steering. Body rate responses look good. Just past two minutes into flight now. RD-180 throttling down slightly as expected. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. Now passing three minutes, 20 seconds into flight. Approximately one minute now remaining until Biko. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison and CFLR deck jettison. Vehicles now throttled back up slightly. Engine response continues to look good. And we have good indication of stage separation. We have pre-start on the RL-10. Standing by for ignition. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good. Body rates look good. Centaur's gone to close loop steering. Body rates continue to look good. Now five minutes into flight. RL-10 chamber pressure continues to look good. Body rates look good. This first burn of today's mission will last approximately 6 minutes, 18 seconds. This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus 5 minutes and 14 seconds.